So I have had a few requests uh, from people asking me the chords to my song, Find My Way Back Home. And um, I didn't have my ukulele for the past two years. And I, um, I just, I didn't know what the chords were myself. So, um, but now I'm reunited with the uke. And, uh, and I thought, um, I could just show you what the chords are because fun fact, like the, the song that I wrote on the ukulele is the only song I actually know how to play on the ukulele. So I, I don't know too much about this instrument and <laughs> what the chords are and, and also, I, I don't think I've ever given um, a chord tablature tutorial in my life. So, this is going to be fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to play the song. For those of you who, like, already know the song or don't need to hear it, you can fast forward. This is just a refresher so everyone knows what parts I'm talking about. That's the song, and now I will attempt to show you how to play it. Um, and yeah, you can probably see in the background, I've got uh, my homeschooling <laughs> prep stuff for tomorrow, and also, um, yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs> but I really wanted to record this for you guys um, and get it out there. So, uh, yeah, here we go. The first string, the, the, the tuning that I use. Um, so I don't know if people call this the, the first string or maybe this is like the fourth string. I don't know. But this string 
that is closest to my face is an F. And then the next string is an A sharp. And then the next string is a D. And then the next one is a G. Okay, so the first chord is really easy. It's just nothing. It's just this. Um, so this is um, a chord that happens a lot throughout the song. And it looks like this. Um, my ring finger is on the fourth fret on the string that's closest to my face. <laughs> My middle finger is on the second fret, and my pointer is on the first fret, and the last string is open. So, okay, so uh, that's that chord. Okay, so. Um, chord um so let's see the my ring finger is on the fifth fret my middle finger is on the fourth fret of the next string and my pointer is on the third fret no oh pointer <laughs> Okay, so this chord is just a bar chord. I just take my little finger and I push down all the strings on the fifth fret. Okay. So without, without your love, I'll never. That's that first chord I showed you. Never find my way back home. So that's just a, a fun, cute little slide up from this chord to this one that we this was the second chord we learned and I just kind of move my fingers up like I'll never find my way back home cause you just those chords kind of back and forth um and then the la 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 part starts here on this chord la kind of like in it like if you are familiar with guitar chords it's um in an e chord shape except um my ring finger is doing nothing it's kind of like an a suspended e chord i think um so okay my middle finger is on the second fret next string is open nothing on it and my pointer is on the first fret this is also open. And these are the same notes. Okay, so la 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 So this is um again if you're familiar with guitar chords, it's basically um how you would play a D. Um so oh my gosh, middle finger on the second fret and ring finger on the third fret point your finger on the second fret and yeah the last string is open okay so that's 
that. So far, and then we're gonna go into the bridge. So go back to that kind of E sus fingering. So trouble. So I, I like plucking that part. Um, you can do whatever you want. And uh, so it's that, um, it's the same D shape, but we're moving it over one string, moving the whole fingering over one string. So on the string that's closest to my face, <laughs> my pointer finger is on the second fret, my ring finger is on the third fret, and my middle finger is on the second fret. And then last string's open. So I hold this this chord shape and slide it up to the fifth fret, and then I slide it up to the eighth fret, and then up to the eleventh fret. chord usually sits. Um, so one set of strings over. Okay, so it goes um, bubbles flow through the air flow through the air flow through the air I'm not going to teach you the um, the walk walking around part because I barely know how to play it myself. <laughs> um, and you can just strum there, you know. Run through the air, flow through the air. And you could stay on this chord. Or I like to switch it up and kind of make it like a D7. So, um, Let's see, nothing happening on the string. My middle finger is on the second fret, my pointer finger is on the first fret, and my ring finger is on the second fret. That's the shape. Okay, so again, bubbles flow. I like to, to finger pick that one. And my finger picking is just kind of like this. It's only like five or six chords and none of the fingerings are crazy. So yeah, I hope that was helpful for anyone who wanted to learn that. Um, 
you can DM me if there was, or leave a comment um, if anything was confusing. I'm sure I said a ton of wrong stuff. <laughs> and, um, so I'm sorry ahead of time and also good luck.